in conclusive part of uh, sexual reproduction organism we have to discuss three important uh, terms one is apomixis second one polyembryonic and third term is artificial pollination or artificial hybridization if you take a term apomixis apo means without apomixis refers to without a mixing of egg and sperm therefore the formation of seed without fertilization we call apomixis basically there are three important uh, process that includes apomixis parthenocarpy and parthenogenesis these three biological process takes place without fertilization suppose the first process apomixis formation of seeds without fertilization we call apomixis then formation of fruits without fertilization we call parthenocarpy generally parthenocarpic fruits are seedless hence they have greater commercial importance parthenogenesis means development of young one directly from egg or female gamete without fertilization here the term a directly from egg is most important because during fertilization two cells are involved one is egg another one sperm therefore we have to define very perfectly either egg is involved in parthenogenesis or sperm but in natural process during parthenogenesis sperm is not involved sperm may not become directly young one egg develops into directly young one without fertilization that we call parthenogenesis in this uh, chapter uh, in detail apomixis is given formation of seeds without fertilization then the apomixis seeds are viable means they have ability to germinate hence they have greater agriculture importance you know the hybrid seeds we developed are non viable that means they lost the capacity of germination but the apomix seeds are viable hence they have a greater importance in the field of what a agriculture then apomix process they resemble a sexual reproduction or they mimic exactly the sexual reproduction but it is a the specially a mode of asexual reproduction mainly we seen in the family of what asteaci as well as some grasses they showing the process of apomixis another important uh, term with respect to sexual reproduction in the flowering plant polyembryonic presence of more than one embryo 
in seed is called poly embryo mainly we seen in the field of uh, plants like orange lemon groundnut then the members of gymnosperms mainly the conifers they shows poly embryo in this case what happens in a seed more than one embryo is there automatically when such seeds you sow in a hot soil at that time we may get from single seed more than one plant seed either 2 3 4 like that if you take types of poly embryony one is true poly embryony in a true poly embryony more than one egg is produced then how it is possible we know the megaspore mother cell during a, a meiosis it produce four megaspores we call megaspore tetrad in most of the plants three megaspores undergo disintegration one will develop into female gametophyte suppose if two megaspores develop we will get two female gametophyte two egg at that time true poly embryony exist if three megaspore develop into three female gametophyte we get three eggs three embryos that results into two egg if all four megaspores develops into female gametophyte we get four eggs that results into true poly embryony then second one mixed poly embryony in a mixed poly embryony along with egg other cells are present in a embryo sac suppose egg side we have synergids synergids and egg fertilized many embryos are formed egg and polar nuclei may fertilized and form many embryo or even antipodal cells may fertilize along with egg for poly embryony here the egg subsidiary cells like synergids polar nuclei antipodal cells if accidentally fertilize at that time mixed or poly embryony is take place why do you call it is mixed because along with egg synergid cells are mixed or polar nuclei are mixed or antipodal cells are mixed during a fertilization process third one that is a cleavage poly embryony in cleavage poly embryony egg and sperm unite to form diploid zygote it is a single cell it undergo repeated rapid mitotic division actually that cleavage word we used in where animals but in plants also that word is used as a result what happens two cells four cells like the cells are formed if these cells separate in early phase single cell become a new plant that process what is called cleavage poly embryony last one advantageous poly embryony in advantageous poly embryony along with a egg there may be fertilization of nucellar cells you know around the embryo sac nourishing tissue is there its name is nucellus if these cells fertilize poly embryony may take place either along with egg the integumental cells you know integuments are the coverings of the specially ovum if integumental cells and egg fertilize many embryo form that what we call the name adventitive poly embryony most important term of our discussion that is artificial hybridization 
or that we also called artificial pollination or that we also called controlled pollination controlled pollination this itself we also simply known as a hybridization we know presently in the field of agriculture and horticulture for cultivation of many plants we used hybrid seed today and all these hybrid seeds we mainly obtain by a process called artificial hybridization or cross pollination and it we also called controlled pollination because naturally pollination is take place by different pollinating agent but it's not selective at all it's not controlled but this pollination takes place according to our desire and this uh, in general also scientists called as a hybridization process actually during the uh, hybridization or uh, artificial pollination first aspect is selection of parents that means from which variety of plants you have to cross or carried out cross pollination that we have to decide first that means the plant parent may have a high yielding nature good resistance power short life span good adaptive value viable seed and fruits giving advantages character based on these some principles we select as a good parents or good plants after that to make one plant a specially female we go for emasculation removal of anther from flower is called emasculation here anther or stamen is removed from the a forsyth as a result that uh, flower become female flower because the male part that is stamen androsium units we destroyed or anther we removed then after that uh, the third step is the controlled pollination that uh, selected pollen grains from the male flower taken in a a muslin cloth or a cotton cloth dusted down a female flower and that process we called the name controlled pollination or artificial pollination after pollination we go for the covering of flower uh, with the help of polythin bag or in other words the muslin cloth or cotton cloth to avoid the contamination of a other foreign pollen grains that process what we call bagging bagging is nothing but covering of flower with the help of a polythene bag cotton bag or muslin cloth bag what we call the name bagging then next process is testing whatever the seeds we obtain we have to test whether they are viable whether they are advantages over the previous variety and finally we go for marketing in such a way the artificially we go for a pollination as a result we get hybrid seed today the 90% of agriculture as well as horticulture depends on the hybridization technique only